Ah, it's you two. Yes, it has been a while. <laughs> we heard the Yashiro Commission is holding a test of courage, so we came right over to sign ourselves up. We didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? <laughs> It just so happens that this Test of Courage event was actually my suggestion. But, naturally, I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event, that's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying is you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules! <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. However, the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time, I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Yippee! As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Huh. So there's going to be multiple rounds to the Test of Courage? Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find, so, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Ah, Paimon gets it! So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. We'll need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon! Yes, seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, a grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for its true value, I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Of course, this event is intended to measure your courage, if you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine, the Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway, I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please... Be sure to exercise caution. Whoa, what did I mean by that? Oh, will there be spooky things in Chinju Forest? <laughs> Paimon thought so too. Well, in that case, there's nothing to be scared of. Anyway, we got an event to win. Grand